you know we're a little bit nervous and very excited because uh, we're moving on to the boat full time now so we just finished up the house got it all clean these are the days of the open highway these are the nights of the cloudless sky we fit all of our stuff into the third garage it all fit right here there's our stuff it basically consists of sentimentals um, baby stuff for our next baby, hint, hint, honey, <laughs> and, um, you know, stuff that we could use, like a shop vac, for instance, you know, that we didn't want to get rid of, that we couldn't get our money worth, and it's handy. Uh, this is where our stuff will be stored while we're sailing. It's free, so that's great, because we could not afford to pay for storage, and our truck is actually going to be parked in the driveway as well with a tarp over it. So that's great because um, those things can be expensive to store. And we're not worried about it because it's at our family's house. And that's it. We are now on the boat with three dogs and a baby. How's it going? Mm, it's okay. It's a little um, difficult since I've never done anything like this before. But it's going. I am cutting this plastic or trying to fit this plastic to this exactly how I'm going to do the actual fabric that I ordered. So right now I'm just cutting it to see what works and make, taking notes and then um, I'll take this and cut the fabric out of it. Well, we're finally living aboard. Yeah. <laughs> True live aboard. Yeah. I know it's a little crazy. Yeah. You know, just it's been a long trip coming from the idea of doing it, going through the process, and now we're actually here. It's, it's crazy, and we look around, and we have neighbors, you know, and other people doing exactly what we're doing, and it's cool. We're in a whole new world, and I yeah. really like it. I know. It seems like, I mean, it's kind of cool that we started this, the whole document documentation thing of it uh, from Virginia, right? Yes. You know, so now all the way from Virginia to this point is, yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, and you know, every time we look at a boat, I'm like, there's no way we could fit everything that we need or, you know, our wants, I guess, you know, needs and wants on a boat, you know, and I would look at it and I'm like, 
this is crazy yeah. but we fit it all on yeah. we're pretty much organized and gotten everything back off the boat that we don't want and we still have a ton of room it's yeah really I mean, weird if you look around our boat you know you'll see i mean it doesn't it's not a huge mess um i mean it, it can get messy like you can see stuff behind us in the video here but uh you know as far as the boat everything's really well organized Brittany spent a lot of time in it uh making sure everything is where it should be it's not all random uh, which is really nice you know oh so, yeah it makes you feel like you're in your home you know yeah. just like in a uh, home on land you have an area for everything and you know in our boat and that's one thing that really bothered me when i would go look at boats i felt like oh my gosh i don't, I don't know if i could live like all crazy but you don't yeah. And you know, it's funny, um, the boat felt very small at first, but now that we're organized and everything's in there, I feel like our boat's getting bigger. Yeah. Right? Which is cool. I don't oh, yeah. feel like it's small well, anymore. It feels really functional. Yeah, very you know? functional. And the dogs are adjusting beautifully. Yeah. We've been on the boat for one week tomorrow. Yeah. It'll be one week. It's flown by. I thought it was like three nights and no. We're going on one week. Yeah. So that's cool. crazy. And did you hear banging in the background? <laughs> it's because Reese is trying to get out of his bedroom. Yeah. He's he's, he's watching us. Yeah. And he's he has this sweet little uh, enclosure because we haven't done the full uh, uh, like whatever. We haven't made his bedroom yet. The baby room. I hadn't completed it. It's still in work. He's in a. Uh, like full enclosed thing. Moby wrap, I think there you it's go. called. Yeah. It's like a miniature tent, but like a quarter of a miniature so, tent. So right now he's standing right over there in his thing, <laughs> leaning against the wall like this, standing up, looking at us with his binky in his mouth. <laughs> he's such a cute little boy. He has yeah, so don't much look personality. At him. Don't, don't look, at him. look at him. Okay. Yeah. All right. Anyways, back on track. The dogs are doing amazing. Yeah. Every day they get a little bit better, and that that like eases stress off of us. Yeah, it's doable. You know, today we were able to clean the boat, so now it feels like we're in it. We're living. It's clean. Yeah, like we're good to go. We're ready to move on to the next phase. Yeah, so we're all moved in. So the biggest challenge of our move in was the bee birth. Yeah. It was kind of a disaster. Reese was in there up until two nights ago. Um, so ever since we fixed that problem, it has been pretty awesome. We're sleeping pretty nicely. We did this really neat foam mattress for the V-Birth. It's a pillow top mattress. What we did was take a mattress that we did not sell at our garage sale and we took the top part of it, which is the pillow top, and we cut it down to fit into the V-Birth. And we made it into three different sections so it was easily removable. And also we can remove the very end of it to, in order to open up the anchor locker doors. So that worked out well. I really suggest that you do that if you're able to. And it'll really help you sleep at night. Okay, here comes the test. It should be pretty comfortable. It's from my old bed before we got our California king bed. Yeah, it feels good. So this is actually how we lay. Yeah, it is. Our feet it are is. at the at the pointy end. Yeah. Hi, so we, we play footsies all night in the boat. Actually, I just like curl up like yeah. this. Cause yeah. so you give him all the room. Yeah. It's an adjustment. Yeah. <laughs> it brought us closer, huh? And then, well, actually, we can be far apart up here. Yeah. Yeah, like that. I don't like that because the uh. edge kind of freaks me out. I feel like who knows what's crawling in there. Yeah. Even though I've cleaned it. I did clean it. Yeah, it's really clean. Yeah. Even after retiring, we stayed so busy while we were preparing to buy the boat, move on the boat. Uh, we were always looking for that moment that we would just relax and it never really came so we decided that once we moved onto the boat full time we were going to make sure we did that hi Reese 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 hi 
Oh, exactly. Come on, Bella. Bella, come. Come on. Good girl. Hello. Kaya, come. Come on, good girl. Hello. 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 How are you? How are you? Come here, Cory. Cory, come. Come, Cory. Good girl. Come on. Oh, hello. Hi, big girl. Hi, Cory. Uh, We're very excited about them. Yeah, Brittany runs the blog, obviously, lazygeckos.net, as you see right here. <laughs> okay, so lazygeckos.net, and uh, uh, one thing we were decided to do a while back was that once we become liveaboards, they're going to do a weekly blog post. And what we're going to do is we're going to call it the Captain's Blog, which is very clever, and that was my idea. but. Uh, I'll let her tell you what it's going to be like. Yeah. So every night or every other night, every couple nights, however it works out, I'm going to write a little post about my day, whether it be something crazy, something quirky, something like out of the ordinary that happened, something terrible, and I'm going to write it down in my notebook, and then every Sunday I'm going to put it up, and you'll get to see how it, you know, my our days. Very exciting. I'm yeah. sure you guys will get a kick out of it. You know, it's going to be raw and it's going to be. Yeah. You know, I'm not going to edit it. Yeah, it's cool. So, um, I'm excited. So, it's, about yeah, that. it already started from the first day, so that's really exciting. Yeah. But, um. Cool. Another announcement is we have some giveaways coming up. Yeah, for... we're going to do some giveaways. So, for all of our patrons, you know, we really appreciate everybody that's uh, come out and, you know, said, hey, we want to support you guys. So, uh, we love to give back to you guys. We always try to, yeah. Yeah. and gals. Uh, but the uh, girls. yeah, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and do a little um, raffle, I guess you'd say. For every dollar pledge, uh, we will give you one entry. And April 1st, we're gonna go ahead and pull. And whoever wins that is gonna get, what, a t-shirt? We have a t-shirt, a koozie, and a sticker. Yeah. So that should be cool. So yeah. free of charge, we're gonna send it to you. Uh, again, for all, each dollar that you pledge, we'll get you one entry. So yeah, we're excited cool. about that too. I yeah. think we have like four different colored t-shirts now. So. Yeah, yeah you'll be able to choose what you want. And also we are going to start our um, store page, I guess you could say on our yeah. blog. Yeah, we've had a lot of people actually buy the t-shirts, which is cool. We sell and for- koozies. Yeah, we sell them for pretty much what we pay for them because they're expensive. Uh, we did them for the patrons that you know pledge over twenty dollars per video. So, but other people said, hey, you know, we'd like to you know donate and get some. So, if you want to do that, you know, you can go to lazygeckos.net. It will be up soon. Uh, maybe not by the time this video drops, but it will be up soon. We're working on it, but you guys can always contact us, and we'll send you one. The price includes shipping as long as it's in the U.S. Because everywhere else is freaking expensive yeah. <laughs> I guess that's it though yeah I guess so so hey we're really excited to be on board we really, really appreciate all of you watching and uh, you know everybody's commented you know it's it's so cool to just you know see that we've inspired some people and then other people inspire us every yeah, single day yeah. so uh, it's we been really cool a lot of inspiration come from you guys and we really enjoy all of it 
we'll see you guys next time. We will. Keep in contact. cantar esta canción con mucho cariño de mi corazón a la república dominicana la casa del merengue y la casa de la bachata voy a cantar esta canción con mucho cariño de mi corazón a la república dominicana la casa del merengue y la casa de la bachata la La casa del merengue, la, 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 y la casa de la bachata. Música, 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 te traigo música. Música, música, música de la República. Ajá. Next time on the Lazy Geckos, we begin to learn more about our boat as we get all the systems ready to go cruising. We also continue with the second part in our finance series. We discuss our budget and give you all the secret little details. <laughs> I have no choice but to breathe it in. You do. Go. You're in a boat. It's like a capsule. <laughs> All right, the battery's dying. I can taste it. It's like onions and ketchup.